Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. If you're new here, my name is Ken and this is my wife, Andrea. And today we're gonna to be sharing our likes and wishes with you from our recent cruise on Royal Caribbean's Navigator of the Seas. We took this amazing ship to the Mexican Riviera on a seven night cruise. Now this is not a new ship. Its maiden voyage was in 2002, but in 2019 it underwent a large renovation, which they called an amplification. So it has been modernized. Mm -hmm. We're going to be covering four areas in this video. We'll cover the layout and amenities. We'll talk about our cabin, which was an inside cabin. We'll go over the food and restaurants that we enjoyed, as well as the entertainment and activities. So let's go ahead and dive right into our likes and wishes of the Navigator of the Seas. So Andrea, let's dive into the layout and amenities of the Navigator of the Seas. Now, I really love this size of ship. It's just under mm. 4,000 guest occupancy when it's full. And I find that this is big enough that it offers a lot of amenities and venues. There's lots to do, lots to see, mm -hmm. but it's easy to navigate. Some of the mega ships can be harder to find your way around or there's so much to see. Mm -hmm. This I find easy to get familiar with really quickly. It's not overwhel overwhelming how big the ship is, even though it is quite a large ship. Uh, it also has a special place in our heart because our first cruise was on the Mariner of the Seas, which was the sister ship to this one. So I was really excited to go on the Navigator just to bring back some of those fun memories. But you're right, more of an intimate experience, even though it is a large ship. It has a very classic cruising feel to it. Mm -hmm. But I think we should start up at Deck 14. And up on Deck 14 is where you find the Cosmopolitan Club, the Suite Lounge, as well as the specialty restaurant, Izumi's. Yes, and you'll also find access to the escape room up there as well. So if that's something you're going to take in, um, you would access that up there. So let's talk about the Cosmopolitan Club. Yeah, in that area, it's quite a great place for some views and it's comfortable up there. It is. There's lots <laughs> of couches and you can tell that the venue is set up so it's taking advantage of the view. You can mm -hmm. see the pool deck area. You can see the ocean. The chairs are set up so that you can sit along those beautiful windows and enjoy enjoy the views. There's a lot of people reading, a lot of people playing games. Yeah, it's definitely a relaxing area and we didn't go there till later in the week, um, but it, it was definitely beautiful if you want to i don't want to say a quiet place but more of a relaxing place it might be a great option for you it was lovely mm -hmm. um and then we'd already mentioned azumi's is up there and um the sweet lounge is up there so um cool place yeah the only wish that i had actually for the cosmopolitan club mm -hmm. is a small wish is when they do hold some of the different activities up there it would be nice to have a projection screen. Um, the venue is really created to take advantage of the views. Mm -hmm. And so when they do something that everyone's turned in watching, it's a little difficult to see. Yeah. So we went up there for the towel folding demonstration and there was definitely a struggle for everyone to see the towel folding demonstration. Mm -hmm. um, so that probably could have been held in a different venue, but it was definitely a nice place. There is actually a bar up there as well. I don't know if we mentioned that, but... Um, Awesome place to hang out. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, coming down from there, of course, is um, the pool area. Or actually, I shouldn't call it the pool area. The water slides, flow rider, um, so kind of a pool. <laughs> we'll get to the main pool area in a moment. It's but At the aft on deck 13. Yeah, so that's where the rock climbing wall is. Um, and then the outdoor sports court. Which is really cool because they hold mm -hmm. lots of different activities and fun things to do there. Yeah. Um, pickleball, dodgeball, <laughs> basketball, all that kind of stuff was Lots there. Lots of different things yeah. going on. Really nice big sports court and I, it's well used. It is. Yeah. And good uh, size. Um, bigger than definitely some of the ones we've seen on other ships. It's not like the Ovation where it's massive indoor. That's true. Um, but for an outdoor one, it was a really good size. The slides, now we didn't go on them this time. It just didn't work out. Um, I mean, we could have found time, but it just didn't happen for some reason. <laughs> um, they're really cool looking. They were. They look really fun and interesting. Mm -hmm. One of them's like a, a, you sit in a tube and go down and they're bright, colorful, big, um, really neat. It's a really cool space. Now, one of the things I really like too about the Flow Rider, which is right in the area, mm -hmm. is they had seating set up yeah. all the way around. And 
it was actually a fun place to hang out and just to watch all those activities going on. Yeah, from the beginners to the advanced, it was really neat to watch. But do up your drawstrings on your uh, really tight shorts, really tight. Really tight. There might have been a few <laughs> <laughs> needed areas that needed to be blurred out <laughs> on the flow rider. But uh, yeah, it was it's a cool area. The rock climbing wall there is amazing. It's big. Um, a few different routes up there. It's really, really neat. And I, I think that's really cool that Royal Caribbean does put those on many of their ships. So, um, and complimentary, there's some like paid options you can do, but mm -hmm. there, if you want to do the basic, it's complimentary, which is great. A lot of fun mm -hmm. stuff you can do. Yeah. And I don't, I mean, I don't have any wishes for the area. It's just phenomenal. No, yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Loved it. Um, jumping though to the front of the ship. To mini golf? Mini golf, yes. yes. I think I had the, is it at the front of the ship? Yes, yes. it is. They call the Navigator Dunes. Yeah. This is one of the coolest mini golf courses I've seen at sea. Absolutely. It was cute and a lot of creativity put into it. Mm -hmm. They had like little shipwrecks, um, palm trees, there's rocks, kind of fake rivers. Is there's it like a, a little Volkswagen van kind of that you could take photos with? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a Volkswagen. I'd have to double check yeah. on the photos, but yeah. Um, you can stand kind of in them and take photos. It's kind of half a van for taking photos. Really neat area. It was really cute. It was and a fun course as well. Really fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was really well planned out, well done. Mm -hmm. And um, not really any... No wishes. Uh, no wishes on that. It. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, from there? Should we go down? A sure. Deck? <laughs> so let's talk about the spa and the gym. Yes. We didn't take advantage mm -hmm. of any of the spa services. We did take a quick tour of it. It was a fast tour. It was a very fast tour. It was smaller than I expected. Mm -hmm. um, they did offer a lot of services in there, but it wasn't the biggest gym. It wasn't gym. huge. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Or the spa. And same with the gym. The gym mm -hmm. was standard size. It was nothing outstanding. They mm -hmm. had basic equipment. Um, if you want to go work out, free weights, the machines, cardio, they mm -hmm. have it all there. Plus the classes if you want to sign up. Yeah, they classes. have like a little studio with the bikes and stuff if they if you're taking in mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, I don't, I mean, wish-wise, it, it could have been bigger um, with a little bit more. I think this is more standard of kind of ships built in that kind of time frame that the size of them because you're starting to see bigger and bigger gyms on the ships with the and... big beautiful views the whole mm -hmm. way so this had some had views but it wasn't the most amazing but it was definitely i would call half of it wasn't didn't have views and half kind of did so but uh, it's still a nice gym if you need yeah. a, if you want to work out you can yeah. head on in there for sure i'll also jump over to the challengers arcade yes um so if you're into arcades um not a huge arcade they had like the prize hub in there um, air hockey and a variety of different games, not overwhelmingly big. No, so I mean, it's there. It's not really a wish for me. I don't really play arcade, but if, if you want to spend hours and hours, mm -hmm. it's you're probably done pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, yeah. Now, I really, really, really enjoyed the main pool area. Yeah, it was really nice. It was very nice. So they have the two large pools, mm -hmm. and then they've got. A main, I believe it was one big hot tub, maybe two in that area. I think it's one. And then up above, there's two long hot tubs that are covered. Now, these hot tubs are amazing because often you find when they get the hot tubs too big, they end up being huge and then there's a lot of space in the center. Mm -hmm. So what they've done with these hot tubs is they're kind of The ones oval. up tall. Yeah, yeah, they're oval. And so they, they fit a lot of people into them. Mm -hmm. It was like... Yeah. Very comfortable. The temperature was good and there was yeah. lots of space to get in. Well, and then they're covered and they overlook the pool area. So if you're wanting to watch, I don't know, the belly flop competition, um, you could do that right from the hot tub. Yes. Which was nice. Which is nice. And it's yeah. also nice to get that covering out of the sun too, especially when you're mm -hmm. in Mexico. Um, it's easy to lose track of time. <laughs> and between the two decks, I would say there was a fair amount of loungers. The ones down by the main pool area definitely got gobbled up first yes, yes. but there was i don't feel like we were ever looking for loungers we always were able to find loungers we could always find them one deck up and watch them up there mm -hmm. yeah which was so nice it was nice um the ice creams in that area <laughs> <laughs> um so and then further i believe towards the front of the ship you'll find the adult solarium area which had a pool and two large hot tubs as well round ones mm -hmm. 
Um, so it's called the solarium. But it's it's not, not a solarium. solarium. It's open from above. So if you're thinking solarium, like you might see on the Ovation of the Seas or Quantum of the Seas, um, it's not like that at all. It was actually open above. Um, an outdoor solarium. I don't know how it's called that. And it's pretty close to an elevator. So uh, some ships, the solarium adult only areas at the end of one of the of the ship mm -hmm. so this is still going to have uh, like children and families walking through so yeah. it's not exclusive adult only so i i would kind of I, i'd call that maybe one of my wishes that there was more of an indoor pool area um like it's called the solarium but it's not a solarium so it's air conditioned? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because while well, we were there in Mexico. So um, that would be kind of one of my wishes yeah. that that was actually closed in. But if you have bad weather, that can be really nice. Yeah. 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 We had gorgeous weather, so it was not a problem. Mm -hmm. um, any other thoughts on the pool? No, I like the pool area. It was yeah. very nice. Yeah. Um, so from there, they have a nice library and kind of card room. It's not huge, but it is there and it's kind of above the promenade a couple of decks i can't remember which deck um which makes it kind of secluded it's kind of in amongst the cabins it's open too it's mm -hmm. not closed off so if there's live music going on in the promenade it's actually a nice place to sit mm -hmm. if you just want to take advantage of the music yeah no it, it was definitely um a nice yes. area for i'm sure. glad they still have it because some of the new ships are not putting in uh libraries mm -hmm. and sometimes i think Everybody, They're a nice place. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah everybody yeah. goes on cruises for different reasons and not everyone's there to party. Some people just love their book and mm -hmm. I think it's important to have that I on, like a, that on a cruise ship. Yeah. Um, and also, and then going down, we'll kind of get towards the main promenade area. Yeah. Um, so we've got the Star Lounge at the front of the ship. A nice, a, not the main theater, but it's kind of like a theater where they can put on different things. Really nice area. It's somehow easy to miss too. Because mm -hmm. my eyes always went towards the food on deck five. <laughs> <laughs> I always saw the, <laughs> the cafe promenade. Yeah. And headed that way and didn't look the other direction. So mm -hmm. it's easy to miss mm -hmm. that big space. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely um, quite large. And actually, if you sneak out the side doors, you can walk up to the front of the ship to the helicopter pad. So a lot of people don't know that. That was one of our favorite places that on was. the... And I'm going to give that a big thumbs up that you're allowed that out space. on the front of the ship. You can do your your Titanic impression out there, King of the World, and just enjoy that area. There's benches out there. Yeah. Really nice. And so you can access it, as you said, from the Star Lounge. Also, though, from Deck 4. Mm -hmm. But then you take stairs up the side. Yeah, to up get from up the, the kind of outside promenade area, you can go up there. So That's um, a very cool space. Very cool. I Yeah. That was an awesome space. If you want to look for dolphins or watch the birds, there's, mm. yeah. There's, there's lots of birds. Lots I don't understand how all those birds get out, way out and see where they came from, but. Um, they yeah, were there. They were there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, benches. You can walk actually all the way around. At the aft of the ship, so the back of the ship, you could actually walk around there. You're almost not sure if you're supposed to be there, but you were allowed to walk all the way around the back of the ship. There was a lot well. of like chairs. Um, the store. loungers stored there. Yeah, extra loungers and stuff being stored. But it there. is nice. If you want a nice long walk, mm -hmm. that is a nice long walk. As long as you can do the stairs up to deck five. So that's, <laughs> I, you know, I, I probably should have said this earlier and it kind of fits in here. Mm -hmm. So that if you want a nice long walk, that would probably be the better place to walk mm -hmm. because the running track, we didn't mention that up. Yeah. Um, so it's up on the deck. One up from the one pool. One up from the pool. So where the on those hot 12. tubs are. Yeah. There's a running track. It is, I don't want to call it short, like it is a medium sized running mm -hmm. track, but the loungers kind of go right up against it. So if you're trying to run. You're running right past the hot tub. So you're yeah. going to have people in your way. Especially if you try to use it in the middle of the day. I, if you're going to use it, use it early in the morning. I did go out there um, one morning early and there's actually quite a few people using it. Mm -hmm. That's the time of day to be using it. But if you're trying to run there in the middle of the day or the evening or early evening, it's probably going to be a struggle. Be Expect that people will be yeah. in your way. <laughs> so I think that would be one of my wishes is when they build these ships. And I mean, it is what it is on, an, on a ship of this age, but that they build them where they don't interrupt people sitting around the pool. Yeah. So. And a little less conflict there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but back down to the promenade area. So the Royal Promenade. We'll come back inside. Yes. 
I love I love these areas on Royal Caribbean ships, so the Royal Promenade or the Royal Esplanade, um, those sorts of areas. It's just one, it gives you that kind of shopping center kind of the, vibe. The stores, the food, the music. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, a lot to, you know, entertain you inside. This one actually had cabins that looked out over it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there's cabins that overlook the promenade. There's actually kind of a bridge in the middle where they offer, they do parties on there. They'll do dance parties inside in the promenade. So, um, funny. Yeah. It's just a, a fun area to enjoy. And close by the elevators, mm -hmm. they have little cutouts that you can stand and watch from above down onto the promenade. Yeah. From higher decks. Yes. Yeah. So, which is kind of cool. If you don't want to be in the midst of the party, mm -hmm. you can go a few decks up close to the elevators and you can stand and watch from up there. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll point out a couple of our favorite spots on there. Mm -hmm. Then I do have um, kind of a, a wish for this okay. area too. Okay. Um, so Playmakers, kind of like the sports bar there, really cool area. It's right across from the um, Cafe Promenade. Is that what it's called? Yes. <laughs> so many names, I'm trying to remember everything. Um, they had a really neat thing. So first of all, mm -hmm. at the back, um, there's a kind of a, private lounge thing and I don't um it's a room I think if there's a lot of people you can kind of request to use that area okay but one of the coolest things in this area is they had foosball tables they had table shuffleboard mm -hmm. um did they have a pool table I can't remember I don't remember but I feel like there was some retro there was retro video games I feel like it was pac-man or miss pac-man or something like that um so a really neat area mm -hmm. and the like the foosball and the shuffleboard were free to play um I thought that the foosball cost money because it had the little place mm -hmm. to put quarters in. But it was free. It was free. Yeah. yeah. So, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. And then there's tables there and there, you can order drinks and stuff. In and that TVs area. and stuff. Yeah. Really nice area. They had sports playing and yeah, mm -hmm. it was a nice, fun, fun environment. Mm -hmm. And we did play the little shuffleboard, mm -hmm. even though we don't really know how to play. We, <laughs> we tried. Okay. Should we talk about the cafe, cafe promenade across the way? Yeah. So the... Cafe Promenade, um, so on other ships you might see like Sorrento's and the Cafe Promenade. This is kind of all incorporated into one, so you'll get the pizza, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. in the Cafe Promenade. Um, but it's really handy there. There's a nice little kind of room in the back that's quiet. Yeah, it's, when you walk in, if you go to the left, mm -hmm. there's an extra little section. And halfway through the cruise, people start to find it, but the first half of the cruise... We would be the only one sitting back there. Yeah, even so, though the rest of it was busy. You could so. still hear the music and everything, mm -hmm. but you could sit back there and have your space. So it's yeah. kind of nice if yeah. you peek around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nice little area. They had, um, you know, coffee and, and um, teas you could grab there as well conveniently. Mm -hmm. um, you could purchase ice cream or specialty coffees in that area. And, um, yeah, Cafe Promenade, just snacks. Nice area to stroll, so. listen to music. In the Promenade as well, they had a barber. Yes. So, or, I don't know if it was officially called a barber, but at least a place you could go get your hair cut mm -hmm. um, in different stores. Now, they did have, let me see if I have the name of it. Um, I don't have the name of the what the store was called, but the store where you get your logo wear from yes. Royal Caribbean. Yeah. This is where my wish comes in. Okay. It wasn't the best logo wear and, like, the... Logo wear, clothing kind of stores, souvenirs, other than like jewelry and like fragrances, like it seemed really small on the ship. And that seems to be a common thing. We often feel like they could offer more. Mm -hmm. They could do, be, do more. Well, some ships I've been on, I can go, browse through those stores for like half an hour. This one I was done in like two minutes. <laughs> That's true. You were. <laughs> so, I could have been in there half yeah, an hour, it, but just, you were done in two minutes. Yeah. I just felt like it was, could have been better. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, but, but they did have the Royal Caribbean towels, so I did bring one of those home. And I really like their towels. Mm -hmm. They have really pretty ones. Mm -hmm. Um, but there's all the, like, um, you know, fragrance shops and, um, the liquor store, that yes. sort of thing on there yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, do you want to keep going or? Yeah, we should maybe drop down a deck because I think we go down to deck four. It kind of continues that shopping mm -hmm. feel, but there's a little less of it. Yeah. So down in... Deck four, you're going to find the um, the Royal Theater at one end. Mm -hmm. And then you'll also find, I believe the schooner bar is down there. Yeah. Which is 
also a nice venue where they hold some of the activities during the day. Well, well they'll do like trivia and that sort of thing in there. It's a very nautical vibe in there. They've got a piano, mm -hmm. um, like typically with like ropes and different things, making it kind of a nautical vibe. Um, and they do host stuff in there. So that's nice. Um, should we jump? Let's talk about the theater. Okay. So yeah. the theater on this ship is your classic theater. The kind of theater mm -hmm. that, in my opinion, should be on every cruise ship. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It is big. We never had to fight for a seat. No. There was a lot of seating in there. Uh, multi, like two, there's upstairs and a downstairs. Um, it's tapered. Great views. Very few seats had bad views. You could, I could sit anywhere. Mm -hmm. And a big kind of race stage, traditional stage with the curtain and the whole, mm -hmm. whole thing. Um, really enjoyed that. I, I like that. And yeah. I like that you can go to the show and not feel stressed. Mm -hmm. um, some of the theaters are so undersized for the ship. Yeah. This yeah. is nice. Beautiful. Yeah. And even when we showed up closer to the shows, this might not be on, on every sailing, but there was lots of space available. And our sailing, I think, was pretty much full. So Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was really nice. Yeah. No, for sure. Um, so, yeah. The Royal Theatre. Awesome. Uh, let me have a look here. I know a highlight. Okay. You can easily miss it because it's on deck four, so it's out of the way of it, but they have a full Starbucks. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so if you enjoy your Starbucks, not just serving Starbucks, but actually Starbucks, they mm -hmm. have it. And then if you go... Towards the after the ship. Yeah, but if you go behind the bar, mm -hmm. they're seating along the window looking out, and mm -hmm. there's also plugs. Under all the seats in that area. So if you want to be on your phone or a computer, yeah. it's a great, quiet place to sit. Yeah, right behind the Starbucks. And I actually saw quite a few staff members from the ship sitting back there. I think it's the quiet place to go hang out because... Um, People don't see it. You don't see it because you have to walk around the corner. So, But it's really nice place mm -hmm. to sit down. Yeah. Um, one thing um, I wanted to mention as well, and I think we're in this area before okay. we get to the main dining room... Is the skating rink or Studio B. That is super cool. Yeah. Like, what a cool space. So they have an ice rink. Mm -hmm. And then they have seating all the way around. Kind of theater seating. Mm -hmm. Like like you would find in a sports arena. Yeah. Yeah. And they hold amazing venues. Or mm -hmm. activities in there, I should say. Yeah. From, you know, the ice skating, different things like that. There's shows in there. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just an awesome venue. And... Really cool place. Super cool. Yeah. Really cool place. And even if you don't want to do that stuff, you can go in there and watch mm -hmm. as well. And yeah, I enjoy it. Well, I think area. that's fun. Really fun. But I think this is kind of the last area we mm -hmm. want to touch on mm -hmm. in this is the dining room. The main dining room. I love their main dining room. This is elegant, mm. classic, beautiful. When I think of a main dining room on a cruise ship, and maybe it's because this was our first cruise, was on the Mariner, but it's pretty much the same on here, is this kind of classic dining room. It's three stories high. It's open in the middle. The massive chandeliers, the tablecloths, everything like that. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And everyone is in one main dining room together. Mm -hmm. So even if you're doing uh, where you have different dining times, it's in one place. Even though you might come in on, it, you can opens up on three different decks that mm -hmm. you can get in there. Even if you're coming in on a different deck, you might, it still feels like you're dining in the same room as everyone. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. I yeah. love it. Yeah. And wait, you know what? The one thing we forgot to say though, hmm. there's also a casino on deck four. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's um, kind of midship in there as well. So um, that is available. Yeah. So, um, I mean, there's there's so many things that we liked. I don't I don't really have. I know I've kind of mentioned a few of my wishes in there, but I don't really. Other than those, I don't. There's not a lot that stands out for no. my wishes. It's a beautiful ship. Uh, lots to do, lots to see, and we had a great time on it. Mm -hmm. So let's dive into our cabin. It was cabin nine two three three, and it was an interior cabin. Now, what I really liked about this cabin was our location. Mm -hmm. It was two decks below the Lido deck, which made it really easy to quickly take the stairs up. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't too many flights down to the Royal Promenade. Mm -hmm. 
And so I found the only time I was really using the elevator to get to our cabin was coming back from dinner. <laughs> yeah. Other than that, it was super convenient to it was convenient get around the ship. Walking up and walking down because it's kind of in the it middle was there. Fast. It was fast. Yeah. I really like that. Yeah. No, but inside the cabin there were some things that I, I did really appreciate. For sure. And I, I think um I definitely have some wishes as well. Um and I think that a lot of them might have to do with the age of the ship. But should we start out with some of the things we liked? Yes. Okay. First off, I always, this is like probably the first thing I check on every ship, is the shower door. It was like an acrylic or glass shower door. Yes. That's great. Especially for the age of this ship, I appreciate having that in there. You're not getting all stuck in the shower curtain. And, <laughs> <laughs> and staying in the washroom there, the glass mirror also opened on the side and there was mm -hmm. lots of shelving inside you could actually easily forget uh stuff when you're yeah it's almost like part of the mirror flipped out and you could keep stuff behind there um so the cabin lot of, had lots of mirrors yeah a lot of storage a lot of mirrors and but it definitely i mean the rest of it was pretty much standard um but that's that was there the vanity area had mm -hmm. lots of drawers smaller drawers they going did yeah up and down to the floor so it made it nice when we organized our things Mm -hmm. You took the stuff to the left. I took the stuff to the right. Yeah. I felt that there was a lot of places to organize our things and to keep our things. Mm -hmm. That was nice and it was well lit for like getting ready in the morning. Yeah, there was like lots lighting. of lighting in there and, and as you'd already mentioned, mirrors. And even the main closet area, quite large. We kept some of our bags at the bottom in the closet still with our clothes hanging in there. And there was plenty of room for all of our clothes. There was a couch, which I like when there's somewhere to sit down, especially when you're putting shoes on and mm -hmm. two people trying to get ready. I do like that extra chair. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I think... We'll come back to that later. We'll come back to that in a bit because <laughs> that's where you have my mind going all I know, over the place I know. with that. <laughs> Another good thing, usually this is usually the case, um, the bed was high enough that you could slide the empty suitcases under the bed, yeah. which I like because that frees up a lot of closet space. Mm -hmm. There was... Not a true refrigerator, but a cooler, which you could store some yeah. drinks in. That's pretty standard, but I enjoy having that. Yeah. There was also, for plug-wise, two standard like American plugs and one European plug. Um, we were on a cruise recently that didn't have the European plug, and we bring an adapter. Um, maybe I'll link one down yeah. below. So we plug that into the European plug, and it gives us a couple extra USB ports. Super um, handy. Super handy. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. Yeah. Um, because there weren't any USB ports there. It was just regular plugs and the European. So, um, nice little thing to have for sure. Are we ready for our wishes? Or well, no, I think on? I have quite a, a, a few other things. Okay. Um, I really like the linens are really nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, so the pillows are soft, yeah. the blankets were nice and comfy. Um, so that was nice. You'd already mentioned this, lots of light. Mm -hmm. Um, now the TV was We'll get, I think, a little bit more into the TV, but it was on an arm that tilted yes, out, which yeah, was handy. Yeah, yeah. Um, the AC worked well. Oh, that yes, which is important. Almost too well. <laughs> <laughs> we could have adjusted it so it wasn't so yeah. cold, but it was nice. Yeah. I like that, especially when it's hot. Um, you, you've run out of good things to say? <laughs> well, you know what? I feel like this is where the you know, ship showed its age. You know why I have so many? is because I took notes while we were in the room. So it's easy to forget when you get back home. Um, <laughs> there was lots of hooks in the washroom. Yes. There's hooks. Yeah. Um, there's reading lights beside the bed, mm -hmm. which were handy. You could turn yep. off all yep. and on the lights beside the bed. Um, oh, the walls are metal, so hooks work on them. Yes. And yeah. ceiling. Yeah. So we typically bearing like magnetic hooks and the walls are metal. So we hang those on the ceiling and the walls. Um, great for hanging your hats, different things like that, even like coats. And the daily compass. I like to stick that up so yeah. we can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. It's nice not to have stuff scattered everywhere. Yeah. It really helps with the organization. Yeah. And maybe I'll put a link to the magnets below as well because mm -hmm. um, two of our things that you must bring on a cruise, European plug and magnets. We use yeah. them all the time. We do. I mean, there's probably, there's there's definitely more things we could talk about, but I think there's definitely a lot of wishes about the room. This is definitely where I think the ship, like I said, showed its age. So, yes. Let me put it this way. So when we were on the ovation of the seas this summer as mm -hmm. well, that was probably one of my favorite interior cabins that mm -hmm. we've stayed in. 
This would probably be one of my least favorite interior cabins that we've stayed in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, same cruise line, just... Uh, different class of ship. Different class of ship. And different age of ship. Yeah, yeah. So let's start out with the couch. Let's, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to talk You walk in the room and you go, what? Because yeah. <laughs> the couch was too big. It was too big. It was put in and kind of in a spot that stuck out. Blocked when we originally the hall, got when there. You, when you walked in, it stuck out into the hallway mm -hmm. of the room. Yeah. So then we actually moved the couch to the against side. Against the wall. Against the wall, which was much better. But then you couldn't walk down the side of the bed. Get, you had to crawl over the bed. You had to kind bed. of get over it. But it was much better for getting past one another. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> we were dancing the whole time trying to pass each mm -hmm. other. So. so I don't think it was probably the original couch that that room had when the ship was brand new and it was just a little bit too big it would have been better if it was just a chair it would have been yeah 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 i i agree mm -hmm. i like the place to sit down but when you can't move around the cabin it loses some of its benefit mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right do she... you want to keep going let's talk about the television oh, okay okay so the tv was on my side of the room it was on the arm which was good really <laughs> low down so when you turned it so you could watch it in bed I could also touch it with my toes. <laughs> it was like right and at the end. And it was loose. And the, it was super low. So it's hard to see because it's like right <laughs> at your feet. The bracket that it was on was loose. So it wiggled around. And every time we moved it, it came unplugged. It disconnected. So when we first got on the, on the ship, the TV wouldn't turn on and we didn't realize it had been unplugged from the back. So the TV did work. Um, but yeah. But when it was working and plugged in... We had reception issues mm -hmm. almost all the time. You'd At get least about, half the cruise. You'd get about you can... four minutes and then it would be gone for two minutes. And yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if that is a problem um, with that area. Um, we've gone on other cruises. And we didn't have problems in that area. Yeah. A different cruise line though. Yeah. So kind of. <laughs> that was the most unreliable television I can mm -hmm. recall on a cruise. So I'm going to just stick on this for, and mm -hmm. I don't, I hate bashing on stuff like this, <laughs> but on Royal Caribbean, they, this ship did have on demand television mm -hmm. um, or movies, I should say, okay, not television. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know that there were any that were free. Okay. Yeah. So that is a wish too, that there would be on demand free Even television. Even if it's like sitcoms and uh, it, children's programming. It or... doesn't have to be anything fancy, but we went multiple days, I feel like in a row without Anything on the TV except Royal Caribbean cruise excursion type of TV. So in, <laughs> We know a lot about the new cruise ship coming out. <laughs> which, okay, you don't go on a cruise to watch television, but if you like to lay in bed and watch a little bit of TV, maybe download it ahead of time on yeah. your phone or tablet or whatever. Let's move on because that's... Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Other thoughts? Okay. The lovely vanity, which I did like... Mm -hmm. One frustration I had, and it's small, but clearly all the little bearings on the drawers yeah. had broken because they were starting to come out. And so I had to fight to all the time to mm -hmm. open my drawers because they were stuck. Hard to open and close. Yeah. Yeah. So no, they're just kind of showing. Kind of to give them a, a yank. It was worn out. It needed yeah. a repair. All right. I think one more. Okay. okay. <laughs> the mattress was definitely not the most comfortable. No, not my no. favorite. The linens were good, like I'd mentioned, but the mattress, I wouldn't buy that mattress. No, it wasn't, wasn't awful. Didn't come home awful. crying about it, but it wasn't my favorite. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> soft and cushy. It was <laughs> firm and firm. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Um, but any other thoughts? I think, I mean, overall, it was fine, mm -hmm. um, but definitely not our, our favorite cabin that we've stayed in. <laughs> um, but yeah. So the food and restaurants on the Navigator of the Seas. Let's start out with the Windjammer Marketplace Buffet. Everybody loves a buffet on a cruise ship. And mm -hmm. that's one of the things I'm always curious. How big is the buffet? What do they offer? Mm -hmm. It was kind of a horseshoe shape. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, I think it's definitely been modernized. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I liked mm -hmm. how they changed the food up every day there was something that was kind of highlighted or something that was different mm -hmm. there was a lot of options there were a lot of seats yeah um you know what i found that compared to the ovation of the seas 
there wasn't the message all the time to please eat and leave for the next cruise passenger. Mm -hmm. They had a little more space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I felt that we could sit there and enjoy our meal. Mm -hmm. It was it was nice up there. Well, yeah, I would agree. There there seemed like there was more space. Of course, as soon as you get on like the first lunch, there's the rush. But beyond that, it's it was good. Um, a few things I of note. Um, they had an area where they kind of made something different on a daily basis. So I think they had, was it um, donuts the one day? The first night. Yeah. It was so good. Fresh Hot, night. fresh donuts. Um, I feel like there was like crepes or pancakes, um, different things. So that area would change on a daily basis. Of course, they had all their um, main desserts and different things like that. But mm -hmm. they had... Kind of a feature item. Yeah, a feature item every day. Um, now, I want to talk about... so. I always kind of talk about island-based buffets versus a single mm -hmm. lineup for the mm -hmm. buffet. Um, this is kind of half and half because I always find that island-based buffets, so where there's lots of islands, is much quicker than one single line that everybody waits in. So this would be kind of half and half. So mm -hmm. there was probably three or four islands at the back, plus then you would line up kind of to go across. But you could start at different sections. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go... Start if you wanted dessert, you didn't need to go through the salad bar first, yeah. Plus the meats and potatoes, like you could go so right for dessert. It was very efficient, it was, it was efficient that way. Um, and food did definitely change throughout the week. They had the carving stations, they had you know the roast type of meals or turkey, ham, that kind of stuff. Um, lots of desserts, mm -hmm. um, breads, of course. Um, and they have the best cheese buns. You love their cheese buns. <laughs> I do. They have them in the main dining room too, but I love their cheese buns. And, and at, you know, at breakfast, of course, you can get the um, sausage and um, hash browns and bacon. eggs, <laughs> a bacon. There wasn't any bacon guards, so that's. <laughs> I always. That's the other thing I always joke about is, um, like, there's nobody. Not that I need, I know I've said this before, but you, nobody's guarding the bacon. If you want four slices, take four slices, mm -hmm. not um, someone with handing bacon you one at a time. Yeah, <laughs> hidden behind and handing you one at a time. Um, so there was ample amounts of that. It wasn't like they were trying to hide it from people. Felt generous. Felt generous, generous. offerings. Um, so what else did I have here? There was deli meats, cheeses, um, grilled steaks, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know I'm going through breakfast, lunch, and dinner in one kind of column here, but there was hot dogs and burgers um and they had a burger of the day too that was they kind do. of pre-made yeah. lots of ethnic foods lots of, i have that on here yeah, yeah international yeah. dishes um one wish that i okay. had okay yeah um was that their sliced fruit yes they didn't chop it up and cube it like on other ships that's my favorite when it's more like a fruit salad and it's already chopped up watermelon or pineapple it was this, more like watermelon. this was on the rind <laughs> yeah um, and for all the fruit. So there was solid like fruit and maybe that's lazy of me, but I, I like it more. You like a bowl of fruit. Like, like a, a fruit salad. Yeah. Um, but there wasn't any of that that I found. It was all a slice of watermelon or a slice of pineapple. Because we actually like to take uh, the fruit back to the cabin to eat it in the evening to mm -hmm. have diced up. And it's not as easy to take big slices. I mean, you mm -hmm. can do it, but you know. <laughs> um, so that's, I, I think that's the only wish I had. I did mm -hmm. think of one more or a couple more likes, so. You know, I go ahead, tell me, and then I'll tell you if it's different so, than mine. Um, it has to do with the beverage stations. Yeah. So there were, um, I think probably I want to say three or four beverage stations, but they had staff pouring the juices and um, beverages all throughout the day, so you could just grab them. Which is um, you could go to the other ones and do it yourself, but it was really fast to get if you wanted lemonade or orange juice in the morning. It was already poured. You could just grab it. I think during peak times of the day, they have staff mm -hmm. filling up. And they beverages. would also be asking us if they could serve it, which I really like. They if would they... come to the table. Yeah. They would mm -hmm. say, would you like, what would you like to drink? They'd bring you your orange juice, your coffee, your tea. Yeah. And that wasn't, I know when it gets busy, sometimes they miss you, but like that was, is definitely convenient when you have... Hands full, Hands of, full food. of food. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then the coffee was, is Lavazza coffee. I actually quite enjoy their coffee, the complimentary coffee on the show. And the way that it pours, I know this is silly, but it's fast. It, mm -hmm. it pours out really quick. Um, sometimes the cruise lines use the machines where you got to hold the button down and it's quite slow and lineups mm -hmm. build up behind you. There's no lineup. You can quickly just get your coffee and go, yeah. which I like. Yeah. Um, uh, other thoughts on the Windjammer? Because that's, I've kind of gone through all of them. Hey, online. this is kind of a reoccurring thing that I wish throughout the ship. I wish there was a water 
bottle filling station. Oh, good point. Because they don't want you filling your water bottle under the water tap that they have in there. Mm -hmm. So you got to fill up a cup and then dump it in. So yeah. I wish actually throughout the ship there was water bottle refilling because people like to carry like well, a big thing would, of water. It would save on, on dishes on the ship because especially in a hotter like Mexican cruise like this one was, mm -hmm. um, to be able to fill your water bottle would be super handy. Especially you want to stay hydrated, right? And drinking mm -hmm. your water, that would just be, that would be really nice. Yeah. I do want to mention ample hand washing stations when you come in. And they make well. you wash your hands. Yeah. Which I like, especially when a buffet, when you're all touching the same utensils, mm -hmm. I still would like to sanitize my hands after again, but... I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Really appreciate that. Um, other thoughts on, on that area? I, um, let me see. Um, no. Because yeah, I want to I, I really jump it. out to like by the pool area. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So this was actually probably my favorite restaurant on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, El Loco Fresh was on there. <laughs> it's like a Mexican buffet out by the pool. It was yeah. really good. And they had a lot of, a lot of options between mm -hmm. meats and they had... They had chips. I it, like that. It was it was nice. It was complimentary, so you mm -hmm. could make your little tacos or burritos. Ed, some of it was pre-made, mm -hmm. um, with I, I want to say two or three different meats, like mm -hmm. chicken and beef and maybe pork. Um, and you go through the line, and then they had the chips, mm -hmm. as well as they had kind of a salsa bar with cheese and guacamole and um, all the salsas tomatoes, and tomatoes, and that everything type of stuff. like that. Sour cream. I well, maybe not sour cream. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> but that was... Definitely guacamole. It was really convenient being out by the pool. It was mm -hmm. complimentary. It was really good. And I enjoyed that. I really liked it. And the one thing I like to do was to take the chips, get back in line, and add the beef. Mm -hmm. And then they had like a cheese sauce that I put on. So I'd have like a big plate of nachos. I really yeah. like doing that. Okay. This is going to be a dumb wish though. Okay. I think the chips were at the wrong end of the line. The they chips were. should have been at the beginning they rather than the yeah. end because <laughs> you get to the end, grab your chips, and then you wanted to go back through the line again. So The line was short, but you would be going backwards if I, you... I yeah. felt like they put one area for chips for both lines, and it was at the end. So it was kind of... Anyway, that, it's silly, <laughs> but it, was, um, it would have been less confusion because everybody seemed to be doing the same thing. <laughs> I have a couple wishes, though. Okay. Um, I found during peak times... It was difficult to find a table out there because it is close to the pool and there are a lot of people mm -hmm. enjoying that space who are just enjoying the space, not eating. Mm -hmm. So we actually found we would go back into the wind jammer with our food. Yeah. Which was hard because you have to wash your hands when you go back into the wind jammer. And you're carrying food. Which we made it work, yeah. but it's just, we wouldn't have had to do that if there was more seats. There was. Out there. Oh, and yeah. another wish. I do wish they had the lemonade. And the iced tea out there because mm -hmm. it's just water out there. Mm -hmm. And I have one more wish. Okay. This is this is silly, I know. But the one thing I like about the wind jammer is that everybody has to wash their hands. Mm -hmm. There were sinks out there, but I didn't find that people were washing their hands. No. So if you're really concerned about that, yeah. Just heads up. Yeah. But I really like the food. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Um, before we get to Johnny Rockets, mm -hmm. I want to just talk about the ice cream hut. So okay, yeah. on the other end of the pool, you'll find the ice cream hut, really good ice cream, mm -hmm. oh, um, that's good. vanilla, chocolate and swirl. swirl. Yeah. So it's free. They actually make it for you. Um, they make them on the smaller side. Mm -hmm. Um, I wish so they would just do one, one more twist, twist. <laughs> like... but you can have as many as you want. So that's fine. But, uh, yeah, the ice cream hut. <laughs> Which is there. Yeah. So let's talk about Johnny Rockets Express. I had full intentions of eating at Johnny Rockets Express. I did too. It was on my to-do list. And I'll tell you, there was two problems I had. The one problem was, again, seating was difficult to find. Mm -hmm. So if I am, especially if I'm going to pay a little extra, I want to sit and enjoy the experience of that whole, the whole... Well, you do have to pay to eat there. Yeah. So it's not like the full Johnny Rockets where you sit in a booth or whatever. Mm -hmm. You you do have to pay to eat there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's right by the pool area. So so anybody can take up the table space there. Mm -hmm. So you could pay for a burger and end up walking around with nowhere to sit. Yeah. So you want to know what my second problem was? Sure. I was always too full. <laughs> I was too full. I really wanted a milkshake. Yeah. And I needed to, like, 
plan to skip lunch or something. And mm -hmm. it's funny, you think you'll have lots of time and that cruise flies by. Well, and every time I thought, oh, maybe I should have Johnny Rockets, I was right next to the buffet, which was serving <laughs> burgers. So I just walked over there. So if you but I didn't even. I let think us I had know one. How, yeah. how you liked it, because I really wanted to try it. So yeah. next time we'll have to go back. <laughs> All right, let's dive down to the cafe promenade area. Yes. Um, so I think so. The pizza is served in cafe promenade, mm -hmm. um, and then of course they had like little sandwiches. Um, fruit, kind of some desserts that changed throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, and that was all, that was complimentary. That's right. No, and I really appreciate because that's open 24 seven. The food's mm -hmm. always there. There's water, there's coffee, there's teas. I think, I think some of the food though, in the middle of the night gets pretty limited of what they're serving. You know, I even yeah. found late at night, it was pretty limited. Mm -hmm. And I, so that's kind of a wish there was a little more there at times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other thoughts? I would just add the lemonade and iced tea there too. <laughs> okay, yeah. So there was coffee and there tea. Was tea. Yeah. yeah, lots of different teas. Um, before we get to the main dining room, mm -hmm. I let's uh, just quickly mention the Starbucks. Yes. So the Starbucks, um, full Starbucks. Full Starbucks. Nice seating, nice. Yeah. And I'm really sad because they've got the new Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas Starbucks mugs. And I see they're out now, mm -hmm. and they didn't have them. I think we were probably the week before they came out. So yeah, I'm really sad. We were so close. So yeah. very, very close. Yeah, because I really wanted that. But, oh, well, we'll have to go back sometime. <laughs> so let's talk about this main dining room. Can, oh. You know what? I just thought of a really okay. big thing about the Windjammer Buffet, and it's oh. a wish. Okay, tell me. Um, when the Windjammer Buffets close, they shut the area down. Mm -hmm. So you can't go sit in there. When they're mm -hmm. closed, mm -hmm. um, which I think is a real drawback, especially if the weather is not great or it's even too hot. Mm -hmm. um, you can't just go play cards in the Windjammer when they're closed. And they, um, other cruise lines will keep that area open. So even if you're not taking from the buffet, you can at least go sit in there and they, they shut it fully down. Yeah, so that's true. Uh, main dining room. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful classic. Three diner. stories. I Big love chandelier. I think it's staircases. My, I think it's my favorite main dining room of all the cruises we've been on. I feel like I'm in like Beauty and the Beast mm -hmm. when I'm in there. Like I have that like whoa. Chandeliers, the big staircase that goes up. There's art like dresses and things on the wall. It's it's really cool. Windows, views of the ocean. Mm -hmm. I I love their dining room. So um, we went there for breakfast mm -hmm. on a few occasions. We actually had brunch mm -hmm. there. Now I think brunch was limited. I don't. I know they don't do that all the time. That's correct. Because there's different lengths of sailings, that sort of thing. And then we went for, there for dinner. I think almost every day. Mm -hmm. We went every every yeah. night for dinner. So um, breakfast, omelets, eggs, breakfast burritos, pastries, um, French toast, all that kind of stuff. It was good. Yeah. Donuts. Complimentary orange juice or apple juice. Mm -hmm. Really, any thoughts on the food for breakfast? Um, I really enjoyed it. I found that the they didn't offer as long of hours as I'd want mm -hmm. for breakfast time. It was definitely condensed down. Yeah. I would have liked it offered later into the morning. Mm -hmm. The service was phenomenal, but you're mm -hmm. right; it did end quite early. And you know what? And a little quick wish. At breakfast, I wish they walk around with the pastries so you could see them. Because mm -hmm. you could ask for the pastries, but you don't know what pastries they have. Yeah. No, so that's I'd, true. And maybe it's a good thing because then I'm like, <laughs> this one and this one and this one because, you know, yeah. I want to try everything. Lot, but again, lots of options there. Yogurts, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, dinner. Dinner was beautiful. I love dinner. You get the basket of bread. You know what I like about the main dining room as well? Hmm. They've got the tablecloths in there. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you make a crummy mess with all your bread, they'll come scrape it up. And even though we didn't have <laughs> dinner set at an exact same time every night, yeah. they made an effort to try and seat us with the same wait staff mm -hmm. or next to that section. We were yeah. always seated in the same area, which meant we saw the same staff and they... Got to know us a bit, mm -hmm. which is nice. I would agree. And lots of free options mm -hmm. in there. So um, some of our favorites, the calamari, mm -hmm. um, spinach and artichoke dip. These are the appies, though. Mm -hmm. um, I like the iceberg wedge salad. It's very pretty. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Um, there was pork tacos. 
you know what? Yeah. I enjoyed those. <laughs> we try. The one thing I love about cruising is you get to try things you wouldn't normally like. Mm-hmm. And it, it, because you're not seeing the bill for each item, if you yeah. didn't like it, you're not sad. Well, like no, you can try things you can, or you can order something else. Well, it's commonly not... they'll get questions about, oh, did you see this type of food? And it's so hard to remember because there's so many options like we can't possibly try everything so no and then uh, your your appy is the main course and dessert and well there's... yeah main course though um prime rib southern fried chicken beef tenderloin pulled pork enchiladas um lamb caribbean yeah. chicken and then um on one of the formal nights they did have lobster as well mm-hmm. um but lamb shank i believe yeah yeah mm-hmm. so there's um you know plus tons of other options that's so many. Um, and then, I mean, desserts, some of them are favorites. The key lime pie. Oh, so good. So yeah. good. I believe it's the first night. Yeah. If you, yeah. I don't think I saw it throughout the week. So if you see the key lime pie, um, definitely worth it. Oh, yeah. and it had like graham, cruster, graham cracker crust. It was mm-hmm. delicious. It's really fresh. Like, yeah. Woo, it's good. Yeah. Creme brulee, mm-hmm. caramel flan. Mm-hmm. Is that the caramel flan that they had on the Mexican inspired night? It was so much like a creme brulee. It was. Mm-hmm divine i think that was my favorite the flan something I, flan oh so good so good so good i think there might have been a couple i'm not yeah, sure yeah. um there's different cobblers fudge brownies baked alaska it's, it's oh, all good. so it's all good, good. yeah <laughs> um but that's it i all i have on the food uh, did you have any other thoughts i mean there's specialty restaurants as well um there's so much free food that we didn't have any of the specialty restaurants but uh any other thoughts okay this isn't a wish it's just the reality mm-hmm I want to do everything and eat everything on a cruise ship. Yeah. I want to experience the whole trip. So one thing I do find challenging is squeezing in dinner and getting to see all the shows. Mm-hmm. That was sometimes my own time management was difficult. Yeah. So it's not really a wish. It's just a, um, looking at the schedule of the day and figuring out what, you're what works do. for you. Yeah. Um, I think you wanted to mention the other special oh, restaurants. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So just so you know, there's also the chef's table. Mm-hmm. There is a Chops Grill. There's Hooked. There's Izumi's. Jamie's Italian. And mm-hmm. again, Johnny Rockets Express. We do want to try um, getting to sample more of these. But mm-hmm. I just found I didn't get to try everything. It's available. just so, so much. It's so busy. So much. Yeah. 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 So... <laughs> Um, all in all, food and restaurants are amazing on this cruise and we're really happy with them. So the entertainment and activities on the Navigator of the Seas. There is a lot to do and see or watch on this show. There's so much to do and see that you can't do it all. Mm -hmm. There's stuff going on all over the ship all day long yeah. for all different types of activities. We try to do as much of it as we can. We just can't do everything. No. But we'd, we'd be so exhausted. We're already, like, do so much. So We, we would need 10 cruises back to back to try everything. So yeah. that's so. an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start out um, with the Studio B area, which I, is the ice skating rink. I love Studio B. I would book the Navigator of the Seas just for Studio B. Okay. Because... The I Skate Reach for the Stars mm, the program, show. the show, is that amazing. If you enjoy ice skating or you have a family that enjoys ice skating, mm-hmm. the presentation is amazing. That's one of my favorite shows that I've seen on a cruise ship, for sure. It's definitely in my top list of shows on a cruise ship. And if you go early, you can sit right in the front, in the middle. Mm -hmm. And when they go skating by, you can feel the breeze of cold air. Yeah. Uh, The the moves, the tricks are happening right in front of you. Well, let me explain that a little bit more. Sure. So there's a drone show, first of all. Yes. um, As part of it. So you don't even see them come out and all of a sudden they're lighting up and flying around, which was really, really, really cool. cool. And then... It also then incorporates figure skaters who are doing, I don't know all the moves, their axles and their spins and their jumps and throwing people in the air. And um, so that is a really good show. Really good show. And you're so close to it. It's Yeah, because the venue is not huge. So they do offer it several times throughout the week. Um, So if you miss it on one of the first two days, it was, if you're going for a longer cruise, Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how often they offer it on the shorter cruises. So if you're on a shorter cruise and they have it, make sure you see it right away because on our seven-day cruise, they did have it throughout the week, but it would be easy to miss on a shorter cruise. And I would ask, ask, because it's 
Mm -hmm. So it's so worth watching. I really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, so in that venue, though, they did offer other things. Mm -hmm. Laser tag. Yes. <laughs> we didn't play. Yeah. The one thing, though, with the laser tag, you had to pre-register. Mm -hmm. So especially if you're going with kids that want to do the laser tag, go and ask when the registration opens up. Mm -hmm. Because even if we had wanted to, we it missed small. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and ice skating. They had several sessions, again, throughout the week on a shorter cruise. Um, double check on that. And we registered ahead for yeah. that. Yeah. So... Um, you do need long pants though for that. Mm -hmm. And there were people who got down there and they'd only pack shorts. So <laughs> well, I saw one guy asking if he was allowed to wear his wife's capris. <laughs> <laughs> you do you, <laughs> whatever to, to get out there. I actually, um, only had dress pants, so I wore my dress pants out there. Um, but it was all good. It was all good. <laughs> So, um, yeah. there's also a shush, a silent party where they, where you check out the, the headphones mm -hmm. and you dance to the music, but it's quiet for everybody else. Yeah. It's held in that venue as well. And lots of kind of seating around if you just want to go in there and watch as well. Yeah. yeah. That's a really cool. Cause it is like a sports arena or mm -hmm. like ice arena where they have the tiered seating going up. Yeah. It's, and it's a little cooler in there too. And the, I should mention like, um, the ice skating was complimentary. It was, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's the figure skaters from the show that are running it. So if you did want to chat with them as well about the show, they were there and available to chat with. Yeah, there, about it, it was. So. It was really nice. It was really cool. I, I love mm -hmm. that venue. I love the show. Mm -hmm. That's really Royal cool. Theater. Yeah. Uh, and we we love this theater. We do love this theater. It's a beautiful two tiered theater. Um, quite a few shows. We went, I think, almost every night to the Royal Theater. They usually have in yep. the evening a big production show, if it's the welcome aboard or a comedian, mm -hmm. magician. I, we had a, um, I know it's always changing, but we had a Whitney um, Houston, uh, not impersonator, but tribute, mm -hmm. um, which was excellent. Just fabulous. Really um, gifted. They, a comedy magician as well. Mm -hmm. So not just a, like a magician, like comedy magician kind of incorporating comedy and juggling and things like that that was really good um singing and dancing lots shows. And singing and dancing yeah oh and um ballroom dancing ballroom dancing like that was kind of the theme oh you'll have to explain because i don't remember <laughs> the main show was oh. uh was um oh yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. so yeah. that was a real th that one the big production show was ballroom dancing theme and so that actually led to like a real theme throughout the cruise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, um, and they were really good. Fantastic. Yeah. So this is not your typical dancer who's doing some ballroom. This is your trained professional, high mm. competitive ballroom dancer. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, was, it was, it was amazing to was watch. Really and I'm not usually a ballroom dancer watcher, but mm -hmm. it's like they just glide. I don't know how they move. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they float. Yeah, it's no, really so a great, great facility on there, great um, entertainment in there, really, really like that. Um, outdoor activities, there's a lot of outdoor activities on mm -hmm. the ship. Um, so, of course, you've got the pools mm -hmm. with the hot tubs out there. So, um, And there's some activities in the pool because they had mm -hmm. a volleyball in the pool. Mm -hmm. And they would take one of the pools outside and have just volleyball in that. So the other pool yeah. would be kind of, would call like a free swim. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was also the international belly flop mm -hmm. and the sexiest man competition. Yeah. We're all held out by the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, of course they had like the sail away party and different things like that out there. Some of the dance parties. Some of the dance parties. Yeah. So, yeah. um, if I don't know if I have this on my list, so I'll yeah. mention some of the dance parties that go on mm -hmm. throughout the week are also inside in the, Royal Promenade. Yes, there was so. a 70s Disco Inferno mm -hmm. and then the Greatest 80s Party. So again, our cruise was the seven night, so I'm not sure on the shorter sailings which parties you'll have, but if you're doing the seven, seven night, you may consider mm -hmm. if you want to dress up, bring some 70s or 80s type yeah. of stuff. They were two separate parties. Yeah, and they have a little bridge in the promenade um, that they stand up there and dance and yeah. yeah. Um, back to the outdoor though. Um, the water slides, the yeah. two mm -hmm. like quite large water slides out there around the um, sports Back. court yeah. area, um, kind of above that. Mm -hmm. um, so there's that. There's the flow rider. Mm -hmm. um, so a great activity there. Um, rock climbing. Rock climbing. 
um, in the movie screen. Yes. So I actually, the one night, um, because they have quite large hot tubs, I went and sat in the hot tub and watched the movie from there. So they were playing um, the newer Top Gun movie from there. And that, that was really nice. It was nice in the evening to watch the movies. Even I enjoyed some of the Disney films that were playing. They mm-hmm. had really good mix from stuff for families all the way for stuff later in the night like Maverick or mm-hmm. um, other stuff that we enjoyed watching. It was yeah. nice. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, the sports court, I think I already mentioned that, but pickleball, basketball, dodgeball, ping pong. Um, There's also, they call it bagel ball or like cornhole. Which is funny because on our way to the cruise, we met a professional cornhole sponsored player. I had no idea that this was a big thing. Yeah. So if you want to work on your moves. (laughs) You can play cornhole on there and maybe you can become professional. (laughs) (laughs) That was Um, really funny. I had no idea. No idea. Um, And then the mini golf. Oh, really cute mini golf. Yeah. So um, mini golf was complimentary as well there. So... um, other activities there's dancing lessons yeah and so there's actually there's everything from like ballroom dancing to Mm -hmm. learning your 70s dance moves to get ready for the 70s party Mm -hmm. uh there's music everywhere on the ship Mm -hmm. there's also karaoke but one thing i noticed about the karaoke is that it's in different venues on different nights so if you're into karaoke uh you'll want to check um because it's not always the same time same place um, different events though, um, napkin folding where mm-hmm. they teach you to fold with napkins hands on or a demonstration of towel folding, mm-hmm. um, trivia, lots of trivia, um, commonly in the schooner bar mm-hmm. or other places as well. Yeah. Um, we even walked, um, I'm trying to remember what the lounge was called. Um, where we watched the like game show. Was it the starlight? Starlight lounge. Yeah. There's, um, there's actually quite a few game shows. They have the Crazy Quest, which is an adult uh, scavenger hunt. They have Majority Rules game show. They or the have, Star Lounge, sorry. Yeah. yeah. And the Love and Marriage game show. Not all of them, but some of the activities that happen during the day and shows are actually replayed on the televisions in your cabin if you want to watch them. Which mm-hmm. I actually enjoy sometimes getting to see some of the things some that the, we miss. Because yeah. some of them are really funny and uh, mm-hmm. it's nice to check in later. Yeah. Um, I do have a couple of wishes. Okay. Or maybe one wish. Okay. Um, the towel folding, again, in the Cosmopolitan was too small. Yeah. So they should have moved it to the Star Light Lounge, mm-hmm. I believe. Um, or Star Lounge. And then the same thing with the napkin folding. They were difficult to see. They needed some mm-hmm. kind of projection screen. Yeah. When we were on the Ovation, they had a much better venue for that. And mm-hmm. it was projected on a big screen, yeah. which made such a difference. It didn't matter where you were sitting. You could see what was happening. Yeah. So like if they were, it's hands-on with the um, napkin folding. Mm-hmm. If it was in the Star um, Lounge, there's a bit more tables and things rather than the Schooner Bar, which had kind of limited tables. Mm-hmm. Everyone was kind of trying to fold on the same spot. So... Um, I think that would have been better in a different venue. Yeah. Do you have any other wishes? Um, no, I don't, no, but do you look like you do? Well, I have one final wish. Okay. I wish that we did a back to back. So I got to try more of the activities. <laughs> yeah, no, I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. It was a hot cruise though. I need more sunscreen. More sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, but other than that, entertainment and activities were phenomenal on the ship. It kept us entertained. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's, it was definitely enjoyable. It was a wonderful cruise. So I hope you enjoyed our likes and wishes from the Navigator of the Seas. We had an amazing time on this cruise. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with us on social media and subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, happy cruising.